Hey everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. I have for you another haul video. Uh, I've received several Funko Pops in the last month or so, uh, some new albums, and a piece that I got in the mail today. So stick around. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, Funko Pops. Uh, I just cannot seem to jump off that bandwagon. I am addicted to these things. My buddy Phil keeps giving me all kinds of grief about collecting Funko Pops, but uh, hey, I, I like them, and I'm gonna collect what I like. So I've got several to share with you all today. Um, I'm not sure if, if I've shown some of these before or not, but uh, bear with me. Uh, so the first one I want to share with you is one that I got at Walmart. Uh, it is the Carrie figure. I keep getting comments from people that I need to take them out of the box. So I will take them out of the box one by one. So this may be a lengthy video because I've got several to go through. So <laughs> let's get Carrie out of the box. So here is Carrie out of the box. This is her. Uh, wearing the prom queen crown, holding her uh, bouquet of flowers before the pig's blood is dumped on her. So, here's Carrie. The next one I picked up uh, is Muncher from the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. Uh, Muncher was in fact voiced if you would want to call it voiced, uh, by Josh Gad. Josh had a cool series uh, on YouTube for a while uh, where he would reunite various cast members from iconic movies like uh, Ghostbusters, uh, Back to the Future, several other awesome movies from the 80s, Ferris Bueller. Uh, but uh, here is Muncher out of the box he is kind of transparent there uh, he's got some metal in his belly and metal stuff in his hands that was a cool character in the Ghostbusters afterlife movie so muncher uh, next up we have Eddie Van Halen I am a big fan of music uh, rock mostly uh, but Eddie Van Halen is one of the early guitar players that I uh, identif identified with. Uh, they were all over MTV when I was a kid. Panama, Jump, Hot for Teacher, those were all standout videos for me. So here we have uh, Eddie Van Halen with his Frankenstein guitar. Rest in peace, Eddie. All right, sticking with the band themes, uh, I picked up Billy Joe Armstrong uh, from Green Day. Been a Green Day fan since they hit the scene in the mid 90s. Can remember listening to American Idiot a lot when I would take my daughters to school in the morning so here is Billy Joe Armstrong keeping with Green Day we've got the bassist Mike Durnt frosted hair <laughs> and then last from Green Day we've got the drummer Trey Cool holding a pair of drumsticks with his red shoes 
very cool. And I've mentioned in the past that I'm a big Batman fan. Uh, I love the 1989 Batman movie from Tim Burton. And I found this uh, at GameStop. It's an exclusive. You've got Batman and the Joker. And this is when the Joker shows up at the City Hall steps and says that the pen is mightier than the sword and proceeds to throw the pen and it sticks into, I want to say, Detective Eckhart's throat. It's been a while. So, we've got Michael Keaton as Batman and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I've got another one to show you. Please hold. All right, so sticking with Batman, I got a 10 inch Funko Pop of Jack Nicholson as the Joker. My favorite Joker next would be, of course, Heath Ledger. I really enjoyed his performance. But for me, Jack Nicholson will always be my favorite Joker. Apologize for all the noise. These are big ones, so. All right. So here is the Joker. Very cool piece. Lots of good detail. He's got his purple and blue plaid pants with his blue vest and orange shirt. He's got the flower that squirts the acid out of it. Don't remember him having a cane, but yeah, there's Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Stands all right. Uh, on to the vinyl. Um, I received a couple albums from Waxwork. Got Rosemary's Baby. And this one came on a I think a green colored vinyl. Oh, and it also included a print. And here is the vinyl. Yeah, it's on a green marble colored vinyl. Just simple labels with Rosemary's Baby written on the label. Here is the back of the album jacket. And there's the inside with some stills from the movie uh, with some text. So very cool to have this one in my collection. Uh, this is one that was reissued. Um, I wasn't collecting vinyl, I guess, when this one came out originally. But nonetheless, happy to have this one. Got the uh, Carrie soundtrack from the 1978 film. 78? No, 76. Came out a year before I was born. Starring Sissy Spacek, John Travolta, William Katz. Eightfold. There's the back with the track listing. It is a double LP, but I'm just going to pull out one of them. It came on um, kind of a red. Oh, is that like a pig's blood <laughs> color? I forget the name of the actual variant. But you've got the black label on one side, and on the other side, you've got the clean colored label so carry and then I've got one more album to share with you all uh, this is one that I purchased off a seller on Discogs uh, actually it was eBay it was an eBay seller this is one that I had the chance to get when it came out I decided to pass because I already had the soundtrack but it 
Yeah. Uh, this is a song to the lambs. Uh, this is extended cut. It's got some extra songs that weren't included on the original soundtrack that I have with the original artwork from the movie. Uh, this was put out by Mondo. As you all know, I'm a massive fan of Hannibal Lecter and the Hannibal Lecter movies. Silence of the Lambs is my all-time favorite movie. So very cool. It's got kind of the gold foil around the uh, Death's Head moth. And on the back you've got Silence of the Lambs and the gold foil and just some accents uh, throughout the text. And this one came on a very awesome vinyl variant. Uh, it was a double LP, but I'm gonna show you just um, one of them. And this was called the Death's Head Moths variant. So it's you know, black, yellow, some white and grays. Very cool. Excellent soundtrack score from uh, Howard Shore. So, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, that's all I had to share with you all uh, today. Uh, I've got some more albums on the way. Um, oh, one more item, forgot. Received this today. Uh, this is a piece that I ordered from a, a seller on Instagram. Uh, it goes by the name Creation X with a K. K-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-X. Uh, he's made several of these resin pumpkins for the various Halloween movies. This is the Halloween 78 resin pumpkin. Uh, it has a light up feature on it. So, Halloween 1 is my all time favorite Halloween movie in the franchise. So, had to have yet another <laughs> Halloween jack-o'-lantern in my collection, so very happy to have this. So this is from Creation X. I'll post a link down below. So if you want to check out some other stuff that he's made, please do so. So that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hope you all are doing well, Babyface David. Uh, I made the Mick Taylor video yesterday, and <laughs> thought it would be cute <laughs> if I had the mutton chopped sideburns but uh not a look i want to keep so i shaved off the mutton chops and just decided to do a fresh clean shorn me uh but yeah hope you are doing well and until next time take care thanks